Work. Ooh, recording has started. All right. Um, so last time you guys went down in the black geode with Anna Louise, killed some people. Uh, the Zorn got away, and you continued on, met up with a bunch of other drow. Um, came up with a sort of plot with Anna Louise, continued on from there, and managed to find the crown of Basilmer and send, uh, King Torhild Flametongue on his way to the great beyond. Uh, I think that's it for the bullet points. I'm not certain. I don't think anything else really happened. Um, and, oh yeah, you were rewarded, uh, with an Ayun Stone of Mastery. That, uh, I don't think we've decided who, if anybody's going to take it. Of course, it would take an hour to attune, but I also want to note that plus your... Plus one proficiency. Yeah, it gives you plus one proficiency. Um, and your, um, telepathy has expired at this point. Okay, you want to... Should we use it real quick? Use what? The telepathy. That would take 10 minutes. Also, Urkin could probably use some heals. I'm exhausted too for some reason. <sighs> Alright, he's got one level of exhaustion. What gets rid of that? Long rest. Or, no. I think Greater Restoration? Greater Restoration does, yeah. You one. Should I do that? It's fifth level spell, that's the only thing. It's not um, the only thing, it also costs 100 gold and diamonds. Yeah, that's Ooh. true. Yeah, we got lots of diamonds. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hurricane. You know what I mean? I get, what is it, disadvantage or something like that? On stuff? Yeah, something like that. Oh, you know, well, there is a, a interesting thing about Ayun Stones. Um, I'm not going to play by one of the basic rules, but in the... In, Normally, an Ayun Stone, when you attune to it, it floats in a circle around your head like it's orbiting your head. Um, like a moon, basically. And someone can try to knock it away from you so that you, like, don't have it. I thought that was stupid, and so I took that out. This guy is so stupid. The so first level of exhaustion is just disappearing. Disadvantage on ability checks. Yep. It doesn't have any effect on attack rolls or saving throws, so just skill check. Skill check. At least that's what this says. Leave it. Yeah, it says like mostly out of combat. <laughs> Right. For first level of exhaustion. The most important things that it really affects are stealth, and if you try to grapple somebody, that's an athletics check. Okay. So yeah, we're probably fine without using a fifth level spell, right? But we probably should heal I him. Think so. Uh, how hurt are you, Erkin? Do you see his health bar? About halfway. Yeah, about half. Yeah. This makes it tough. Uh, are we taking 10 minutes then? Yeah, I'll take 10 minutes while you heal him. Use telepathic bond again. Alright, then. I will use... I'll use prayer of healing. At second level. Let me roll it. Now remember, because Anna Louise is close to you, <clears throat> you can re-roll any number of dice that you want on your heal, but you have to take the new result. Ooh. Let me see if I can find her ability. That one is... Uh, Nope. Oh, that healing is for Urkin? Uh, that, that's for everybody. Okay, I was, I was wondering. Uh, but I might, I might re-roll one of those, so hold on. Okay. Yeah, let me find the thing. 
And it actually would be... It'd be 19 right now, but hold on. Let me... Uh, hold on, I printed out our character sheet so I can find this stuff faster. So let me just find it here. Um... There it is, Empowered Healing. Uh, this one. I think that's right. Once per turn, huh. But it costs um, a sorcery point. Yeah. But you're healing um, everybody, so, you know. I rolled a three on an on a D eight. That's the only thing I would free roll. Average is eight. Uh, average is four and a half. I know, so it's like so a point and a half. It. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. It's a nineteen, everybody. If I had rolled worse, I probably would have done it. Nineteen, you say? Nineteen. Um, Anna Louise is not hurt. I go back up to full. Oh no, don't we have extra hit points for some reason? Yep. I've got my extra, okay. I have 15 extra hit points for my max health. Why is that again? Did I do that Crested thing? aid? Yeah. Oh, crested aid, that's right. Alright. Was that next one? You said temporary hit points? No, I think those temporary, are... temporary, yeah. yeah. It increases your max hit points for 8 hours. Or can you need, still need more healing? Mm, I can heal it with my trusty healing abilities. Okay. Um, I'll cast the level 3 healing on me. As long as it's been 10 minutes for a child battle bond, I'm ready. Yeah, I assume you guys aren't moving until 10 minutes past. Yeah. Alright, so we got rid of the king up here. Uh, did we go west at all? Or did we did that loop we around? We haven't gone around this corner yet. Okay, we're gonna go that way. Yeah. Erkin looked. Oh, did he? Erkin, what did you see? You're over there slightly, I guess. I was possessed, but um, over there, there was like a room with bad guys, ghosts. You guys coming? I say in my mind. Yeah, I guess. What else are we gonna do? I'll go to visible. Bad, bad guys over here. So you see that river of mud uh, from before, and it is flowing into this room. From the left. It's ending in this bubbling pool at the end. Uh, the pool is bubbling and swirling, and you see a number of creatures near this pool, all of which are covered in uh, thick, dripping mud. Um, most of them are little guys. Um, this guy's bigger, and this guy's bigger. Um, they're humanoid shaped, but it's hard to tell much more than that because of the mud. These guys, you can pretty easily tell, are methods of some sort. Okay. Do we know it goes down to the left here, anybody? Is that the other path, maybe? Could be. 
I do not see those guys, so I just keep following Theron. Feels like it's going back. And this is the wall, right, where we, you guys are trying to break yeah. through? Yeah, yeah, yep. So okay. it just circles around. Alright, let's fight these guys. What, what guys? The, oh, there's I methods can, I didn't see any and uh, some humanoids, but hard to kind of tell what kind of humanoids they are. Alright, who wants it's, to... It's dark in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's dark. Or, or can you want to sneak up and relate what you see? You guys to the south or north? North. Darren said. We're going north? What do you mean south? I thought you said you saw humanoids down south. No, no, no. no. I was talking about north. Okay. There's nothing south. But south is where we came from. Then we all look around. I'm invisible. Okay. But people can smell me usually. Yeah. <clears throat> so you sneak into the room. Do you still... Uh, how long was your... Um, your spell that makes you hard to find? Is that over with? Ah, uh, that makes me hard to find. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. guys use, uh, um... Oh, man. That's without a trace. Yeah, pass without trace. I think we did. When we came oh, down uh, here. It's, it's concentration okay. it's, anyway. Yeah, it's over. It's over, though. Okay. And your disguise self is also over at this point. Okay, uh, make a stealth check. Is it going to be normal? Yeah, it's because... normal. Because you yeah. have disadvantage because you're exhausted. Natural 20, however. All right. Is that good? As you walk, you make mud sounds, and they think you're just part of the river. Well, I <laughs> no, I would definitely check that noise out. I can fly over this river. Erkin, what do you see? Or telepathy. Um, I say telepathy. Yes. I see about hmm, half a dozen flying mud elephant dudes that aren't flying. They are hovering over the ground slightly, but like they're not up in the sky. Yes. Hovering elephants. Yeah, like little mud dumbos, mumbos, methods, methods. That's the word. Um, mud dumbos. Is that it? Just those? And some guy looks like Iron Man. Oh no. Iron Man. He's made of iron. What about the X-Men guy? Um, you can't really tell because he's covered in mud. Glasses? No. Other guy. <laughs> Magneto? No. Other guy. Juggernaut. The Juggernaut. Oh, oh man. man. I hate to break it to you, but Iron Man and Juggernaut do not look similar. <laughs> well, from the neck up. No. That's where they at least look similar. <laughs> yeah. Should, should we come up there? Is there anything like we can do to surprise them? Uh, I can go behind them, I guess. Alright, do you want to just let us know and uh, rush in and start blasting? That sounds like a plan. <laughs> do we ever... Yeah, Ooh, you guys down there, don't move anymore. Tell me before you move. I am... Erkin's word. I am in position. Okay, who's the, who's the next sneakiest? Oh my god, you're going in one at a time? No, let's just all bust in there. Okay, who's gonna go first, though? That's really what I wanted to know. It's a tight hallway. Uh... Maxon? Maxon's really good at shooting things from afar. Just in case somebody gets, you know, seen and then they get killed. Maxon, Maxon, go for it. We'll all okay. follow you at the same time. Well, you, Maxon, you, you then three then make stuff. Than me. This is figuring out if you're going to get a surprise round or not. Still, still, still. I have advantage because I'm. Cause you're what? 
Flying. What? Flying. Why would you have advantage? Because I'm not making noise. Your boots go <laughs> when you're flying. Wait, you're saying I kick my feet when I fly? No, they like literally I... had their. Oh wait, you don't. You're not wearing the winged boots, are you? You got the new ones. I'm wearing the new ones. If that's any different. <sighs> anyway, you don't the get boot. advantage. Over here with those. <laughs> you don't get advantage. <laughs> it's all your fault. Yeah, you got some. Um. Boy, that's that's a tough call. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So, the three who succeeded get a surprise. Yeah, it round. says it says he does have advantage on dexterity stealth checks. It literally says that. Where? He's wearing boots of Elvenkind, isn't he? No, me. I'm wearing boots of Elvenkind. Oh, so you have advantage. Okay. No, it cancels out my disadvantage because I. Oh, I see. Have okay. played armor, so I just roll straight. Pretty sure I, I thought those were. I thought that's what Max boots were called. Look, I'm if you probably... get if you get advantage, tell me how. Tell me where it says that. No, no, I, I got them mixed up. No, I might be able to add a superiority die to that check. Is that worth it? Like superiority die are valuable. Eight of them. So. Well, okay, so so what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen is you go to sneak out, and um, Theron and Maxon both kind of stumble, and Anna Louise and Grimgar rush ahead. So Anna Louise, Grimgar, and Erkin get a surprise round, and then we're gonna roll initiative. Okay. Hey, can I, can I move? Yep. Or uh, hold on before you do anything, because Anna Louise is going to fireball them. Sweet! It will hit all of them. Uh, only a 20, damn. Alright, uh, we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six dudes. Which you have to make death deck deck checks. One, two, three, four, five, Okay, the first and last one both passed. Oh my god. Alright, uh Um, so this guy is only going to take 10, this guy takes 20, this guy takes 20, this guy takes 20, this guy takes 20, this guy takes 10, the guy on the left takes 10, and the guy on the right takes 20. Uh... That is her turn. Who's next? Erkin, you wanna go? You gotta I'll go. yourself. I will go over here. Mm. Yeah, let's go here. I'll cast Hunter's Mark on that guy. Okay. And I'll start stabbing him. Alright, um, you are invisible. Sweet. Um, here we go. Wow. 19. 16 does not hit. I'll redo that one. Okay. 24 hits, he takes 12. And a third one. Master D8. 16. Alright, he is more than bloodied. There you go. 
Between everything you did and the fireball, he is more than bloodied. Right. Health color um, is still broken. Lay sigh. I'm just going to throw a boomerang at the uh, <laughs> guy closest to me there. This okay. one here. Okay. So do He's that. one of the ones that succeeded on the fireball. 26 hits. What damage does he take? He takes all of that. Okay, that kills him. Yeah. So that guy explodes in a burst of mud. Okay, we can now roll the initiative. If. If this works. Nope, not work. Oh, because my initiative is not sure, and I don't see it again. I don't know. I don't understand why. I click my guy, I click initiative, and it doesn't show up. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me try it. Works for me. I don't understand it. Uh, you have to keep what I rolled, though. Damn. Doesn't seem fair. I know. I actually don't mind going last, because usually <laughs> then I can heal and stuff at the end. Alright, Erkin, you are up again. Gotta finish the job. Oh. 17. 19. Alright, he's still alive. You tried. I'll back up for you. Alright. Anna Louise's turn. Uh, she is going to... This guy right here. She's going to throw a firebolt at him. Oh my god. Yeah, he dies hard. Kaboom! Explodes in mud. Uh, great. She. Oh man. Does she have a way to get over the thing? I don't think she does. She's going to move up in front of Grimgar because she's trying to stay near him. Uh, and the bad guy is going to turn. Alright, they don't know where Urkin is. Um, so the Mephits. Their speed's only 20 feet. Low method. Okay, that one dashes to there. That one dashes to there. That one dashes to there. And this one... dashes to there. Theron. Okay, so I've been trying to find my stupid water thing. I'm trying to figure out. Here it is. I don't know what the abilities are. In there. It's just look that good. I like this. Okay. I'm just using that to work. Mound of mud. <laughs> so are these floating okay. in the air? Is that why we can see them? Yeah, well, they're not yeah. remaining motionless. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the geyser function of this decanter of endless water, um, uh -huh. it, it knocks over enemies, but it doesn't push them, right? It only pushes away objects? I don't know. Right, I'll I, just don't, I don't have the item open. I can paste you, it. You want Yeah, you want to paste something? Just because I was trying to think if I can push away the methods from blowing up on her teammates, but I 
that says fall prone. Either knocked over or pushed up to 15 feet. But that's oh, I an see object. object. But is a person an object? Yeah, I, I, I would say that you... I mean, I would say that if you want to choose between the 15 feet or the prone, you can pick. Okay. That's fine with me. I mean, these things are small size, too. I mean, the, one of the problems is that medium and small tokens are the same size. But these guys are small, so, like, it would hit them. But the one issue is, it's hard for you. I, I mean, you've got to find a way to aim around your friend, so you probably can only hit, hit one yeah. of them. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to hit. I'd hit Grimgar and Luis if I tried to. Yeah, so I'll do something else. Okay. Um, These things are also really weak, so you'd expect that the explosion damage probably isn't such a big deal. Okay. In that case, um, I wish I had. A... Shatter right now, but I don't. I guess I'll just start with. I guess I don't know what if they're immune to thunder. Well, okay, okay. I'm just gonna do um, I'm gonna step here and use magic missile. Um, level one. And I'll just do uh, this farther guy here on the right. Okay. All three are hitting him? Yes. So he 14 takes damage. 14 damage? Okay, he's still alive. Darn. Okay. Um, I'm going to step back again and then just use a dodge action. Alright, Grimgar. Um... Is there any room between and uh, that I could swing around on this guy to get advantage? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna swing there. I don't mean to put my guy in the butt. There he goes. And just attack him, or try to yeah, try to attack him. Fourteen hit. Yep. He dies. Okay. Um, what does this explosion thing do? Uh, you and Anna Louise have to make a deck save. No. Ooh. Alright. Uh, it explodes into a pile of mud, and a bunch of the mud hits Anna Louise, and she is restrained. Hey. No um. damage. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna move. I'm move like five feet to get there. Can I move around her? I yes. Yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna move a little bit up on this guy, like that. Okay. All right. Is it? Grimgar spends his turn zigzagging around. Maxon. Okay. Go for it. One next to Adam, Luis. Who's like listening to music or whatever? Yeah, it's a weird noise, right? Um, <laughs> roll a d20 for me, Maxon. Oh. That's weird that you could hear that. All right, you just shot Anna Louise in the back for 12 damage. I can barely hear it, Chris. It was just like a weird or something. It was the flea market video. Uh, flea market best, market. Uh, All right, best that, character. that kills the guy. Grimgar, make a deck save. Third attack, Maxon. Uh, that kills the other one. Okay, Grimgar is now restrained until the end of his next turn. 
They're both restrained. All right, Maxon, do you want to finish your movement? I'll stay where I am. Okay. Uh, Earth, Elemental, Meyer, Maiden. Um, neither of them know where Urken is. Oh, Grimgar is just close enough. The mud does not impede his movement whatsoever. Uh, what does restrained mean? Restrained means... Attack rolls have... Attack rolls have advantage. So he's going to attack with advantage because Grimgar is restrained. Uh, all right. Advantage. Oh. oh my god. All right, he tries again. Nope, they both miss. Okay, and the other one... Can't get all the way up, so he's gonna... Come to he's gonna dash to right there, and that's both of their turns. Urkin! I'm gonna try to shoot this guy. Okay. With a bow. A long bow. Boop. Yep, he's dead. Me. And I guess I'll shoot. The guy is marked. Okay, go for it. Uh, minus. No, oh, there's our building style. But Hunter's there is mark. Hunter's mark. Yes. Dad, I want to bring Fagan. I to bring Fagan. Good night, Finn. I love right you. there. I love you. I love you. I'm faking. Yes, you are. I love you. Okay, good night. I'm faking. <laughs> I'm faking. He just keeps saying his name. Okay, I'm uh, faking. 10 damage. <laughs> you know, Pokemon? I'm Finnegan. I'm Finnegan. Good night, Finn. I'm Finnegan. I love you. Good night. <laughs> you Pokemon. I'm Finnegan. That's it. I just want to remark again on how racist Lombre is. Alright. Alright. Uh, Anna Louise will... Uh, I guess shocking grasp this guy. He's wearing metal, so I guess I have advantage. I don't know if he's got some kind of resistance to lightning, though. I'm gonna find out. Uh, nope, not resistant at all. That kills him. Dead. He explodes, but not in the damaging way. Uh, she's gonna move to the side and end her turn. Theron, one guy left. Move ten feet. Move the rest of my movement to here. And I will also use shock grass. Okay. Advantage. Oh. You got a 15 and a 15. Alright, you miss. Great. <laughs> hey, you know what? If you're gonna miss, let it be this fight, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll dodge as well. Alright. Grimgar! Try to hit this guy next to me. Grimius Garius. That hits. Ooh, wow, that was great rolls. 27 damage. Ignore, ignore the one, yeah. I always do. I'm going to swing around to this side of him. Can I swing around to here? Yep. To give? Okay, I'll do that. Keep in mind these are five foot squares, so... Yep. Maxon, one guy left. I want him. Yeah. Okay. 
Did that work? Nope. I didn't kill him. Try something else. Alright, you back. shoot him. 13 damage, okay? He's about bloodied now. 11 damage. Uh, yeah. 12 damage, alright. He's still alive. Alright. Um, actually, Grimgar, you couldn't move. You were restrained until the end of your turn. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Uh, Alright, so now you're not restrained anymore. Alright, he gets to go. He's going to try to attack Grimgar. He's going to attack you with Thunderous Strike. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. That sucks. He got a 22 and it's not good enough. Uh, that's his turn. He only gets one attack when he does that. <laughs> Erkin. Then I'll move Hunter's Mark onto him and I'll shoot him with the bow twice. Okay. Where is the target thing? Uh, 28 for 13 damage, 29 for 11 damage. All right, I mean, he's orange now. You done? Yes. All right, Anna Louise is just going to firebolt him. Uh, no, she'll, fuck it, she'll move up and try to shock and grasp him. Fifteen damage. Okay, she's gonna stay right there, with Theron. I'll shocking grasp as well. Jesus Christ! Oh, I had advantage again, didn't I? Yes. That there hits. you go. Twenty-three damage. You killed him. All right, and we are out of initiative. Great. We got six dead. Uh, Mephits and two dead Earth Elemental Marmitons. Mar I guess I'll search their corpses. Sure. Uh, make an investigation check with advantage because I just assumed somebody would help you. Help. Alright, you don't find anything on them. They were just elementals. Okay. Pretty muddy, though. Uh, can we walk around this mud yes. river? Yep, no check even required. And is it the mud, like, flowing into a hole here yeah, or something? Yeah, well, or? there's like a whirlpool in the middle. Okay. Mm. I don't see anything down that way right now. Anything interesting about this room? Yeah, there's a mud river flowing into a pond. Besides that, that. Is a whirlpool. No. Kind of a hole, yeah. Nothing over here. Anything interesting about this room, like, it doesn't exist in real life, so it's definitely interesting. This way? The bottom way? Mm, bottom way. Oh, there's this other way. Oh, I thought you said there was this one. So passage really weird. narrow. Yeah, it's narrow. He's a leader and a navigator. Okay. That's the way. Alright. Alright, um, Grimgar, as you exit, um, you see a long cavern uh, somehow carved out into this room. The walls are jagged and tall. As if the stone here tore itself apart. There are shattered bones lying amidst the stones. And uh, let me see how far you can see. Okay. Um, you can hear 
quiet echoes in this chasm of uh, like these clacking noises that sound like falling rocks. Just like Okay, I'll relate that. I'll stop here and uh, say, Darren, get, get up here, see if you can see anything with your great dark vision. Okay. Yeah, Theron, you can see that um, high above there's a bridge that's going across. Mm. High above you. There's a bridge up ahead of Grumgar. The not for us to cross, but it's going to go over us. Any dudes you can see in it? Nope. I'm always looking for dudes. I'm looking for dudes. You can make a perception check to see if you think you see anybody, Theron. Um, the only thing you see, other than what I described to Grimgar, is that there appear to be on either end of the bridge, just kind of piled up boulders. Mm. Like it's blocking the path kind of thing? No. Okay. Just piled like up on the edge. Like to throw at people? I mean, if someone can throw them, I'm sure they could. <laughs> What are these bones? Is it any particular sort? Make an investigation check. Uh, no. They seem to be a variety. Humanoid, not humanoid, etc. And they're, they're just bones, so they're all totally, uh... Yeah, they're picked clean. Decomposed. Okay. Yeah. I want to be quiet as I move forward. I see some stuff now. Somehow. I don't think I should, actually. What do you mean? But that bridge is up high, right? Yeah, there's no way for me to do anything with the light to oh, for okay. height. Right. Gotcha. I mean, it would be great if I could, but I can't. So I won't. Yeah. And you underneath. Alright, Anna Louise is with you, but Erkin and Maxon have apparently stayed behind. Okay. As they go, I, I say, Erkin and Maxon, what are you doing? Alright, um. What, what is your passive perceptions? Mm, 16 for me. Okay. Where the hell is that? Here. Three underneath your skills. Oh, 20 for me. Mine's 20. 19. Max, and you're not in the room, so yours doesn't matter. Um, okay, you guys get ambushed. Um, I'll put the Are initiative up so that? you guys can do it, but... Um, so these creatures that come bounding out from along the edges of the chasm, um, gosh, how do you describe that? They are a, their bodies are a mixture of, like, a vulture and a turtle, and what? their arms are basically just a single bone hook. They don't have hands or paws or anything on their arms. They're just like a bone hook. Um, and they charge at each of you. So they get a surprise round. Um, Thirty feet. Okay. So the first one comes out and is going to attack Grimgar. Twenty-two misses, right? Mm-hmm. 
Yep. Okay. Okay. This one gets there, but they've got a ten foot reach, so this one's attacking Theron. Um that hits. You doing okay. anything about that? Um two shield charges left. No, I'll just take it. Okay, that's twelve piercing. Um, that one's not going to be able to attack, so I'll let him go next turn. This one's going to come up and will also attack Theron. That's a miss. Uh, I'm going to get, th well, Urkin. Ah, these things have blind sight, so Urkin, you're going to get three on you. Can I use a reaction on a surprise round to make him? No, you can't. Okay. <clears throat> Um, only one of them is going to get advantage because of how they would have to run up on you. So, attack. Ooh, that hits. You take 14. Miss. And the last one gets advantage. Miss. Check for blindness. Uh, it just, it doesn't matter on these guys because they have blind sight, remember? Uh, and then I think I've got one on Anna Louise. They seem more likely that they already Ugh. can't see. Annalise takes 14 from a critical hit. Alright, uh, now I've got to do some initiatives. Well, I'm really good on Annalise's initiative tonight. Annalise oh, is this character. Oh, wait, I forgot to do this one. Um, he's not going to be able to attack. So he'll just move 60 feet to right there. Okay. Alright. Erkin! No. Alright, I will. I'm going to stab all three of these guys. Starting with this guy, and this guy, and this guy. So he's not in your square, too. Thank you. Just do an almost dead. So you're moving counterclockwise? Uh, yes. Okay, 18, he takes 12 damage. 28, he takes 11 damage. And natural 20, he takes 16 damage. Roll that again. You critted, so you get double. Nice. Extra oh. 15 damage on that one. Uh, how high is this room go and stuff? How high can you see? I can see that area. What's your dark vision distance? Oh, um... 90 feet? Okay, you can see the ceiling. It's 80 feet up. I'm gonna fly. Uh, I'm gonna try to get out of the reach of these guys, whatever that is. Uh, so the reach is ten feet. I'll I'll go up like thirty feet. Is that good? Yep. Okay, you go up thirty feet. Uh, you know, Louise. Okay, she's going to activate her boots of speed, and then she's going to, get out of range of that guy. He's going to take an opportunity attack, but he has disadvantage because of her boots. He misses. Um, that was her bonus action. 
and then I think what he's going to do is chromatic orb level one. Yeah, I think that's what she's going to do. She's going to use Fairy Fire uh, on the three that are kind of to the left of Theron. So they have to make a deck save. Uh, fail, fail, fail. All right. Um, those three guys are glowing... Um, with, let's say, light blue light, um, any attack roll against them has advantage against those three. Drow get to cast that once per day. Uh, and that is her turn. And now the hook horrors get to go. Um, let's start with these bottom left ones. I guess they gotta make more room for each other. That one's gonna move down and then attack Grimgar. Hook. 17 Grimgar. Damn. And then this one will move there and also attack Grimgar. Hook. Miss. Uh, and then the one that is next to Theron is going to make a little bit more room. And then attack Theron. 17. That's my AC. Okay, that's 11. And then that one's going to move up and attack Theron. Natural one. Let's see if he accidentally hits his buddy. What the fuck did I just do? There we go. Uh, I rolled a five, so he does not hit his buddy. Um, this one's going to move up to there, but is going to attack Anna Louise. Hook. 19, uh, she is going to use shield. So that that is a miss. And then I got three left that cannot reach, uh, Erkin. So this one will come down here. Right there and attack Anna Louise. Miss. And this one can barely reach her. Hook. Miss. And then this one can't get close enough to attack anybody, and so it's going to go right there. Theron! Uh. I will do a fireball. Okay. Seven, eight. One passed. The third one passed. That's the one on the bottom. And okay. it was 40 damage. So the one on the bottom takes 20. Everybody else takes 40. Really good uh, fireball roll. Yeah. Are you going to do anything else? Uh, I'm going to dodge. Okay. Uh, Maxon, you're up. 
That was pretty sweet. Yeah, it was a ton of damage. <laughs> Rob? Just moving along. Oops. Uh-oh, Maxon's lost and doesn't know where anybody is. Really? Uh-huh. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, you gonna dash? I already did. Okay. Krugar. How do they look after that fireball? <laughs> uh, every single one of them is bloodied. Alright. This one's hanging on to life. Um, and this guy next to me is very fired, is that right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go for him. Okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, 12 and the 11. 23, alright. He is really hurt, but still alive. Damn. Um... Level two spells. I don't really want to waste level three on anything. Uh, I'm just gonna stay there. All right. Uh, Erkin, this one is almost dead, and this one's really hurt. Uh, this I get advantage on that guy. Yep. Right. So let's put. Uh, let's just shoot this guy once with a bow. I'm going to shoot that guy with a bow. Okay. A bow. Okay, he's dead. I'm going to put Hunter's Mark on that guy. I'm going to shoot him with a bow. With advantage, which oh I don't need. Oh my god! 25? Holy shit. Alright, well he's dead. He had 12 hit points left. You feel like a bad uh, man. I do, and I will just chill in the air and watch what happens. Okay. Uh, Anna Louise will You know, I think she's going to twin shocking grasp. So she's going to use a sorcery point. She's going to attack both the guys that are next to her. So the one on the left first. And then the one on the right. The one on the left takes 10 damage. The one on the right takes 13. The one on the right is now barely alive. Um... And she is going to use, since she used a, a one of her meta magic, she gets to use. Um, she has this strange looking purple shard attached to uh, the rapier on her hip, and as as she cast the casts the spell and attacks these two guys. The little shard flares up, uh, and Theron, you get 11 temporary hit points. Ooh. Hmm, where am I going to put that? Oh. Uh. <sighs> You're probably not going to have them for very long, so maybe don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me know. Wow. What? I just thought it was funny. Wow. Wow. All right. Uh, Grimgar, no miss. Um, so this one will come down and also attack Grimgar. Hit. Eight piercing. A hit. This one will move to the side and attack Theron. Miss. 
This one steps down and attacks Theron. Miss? Okay, never mind. Maybe you're going to keep him. <laughs> uh, because the last two are both going to attack Anna Louise. Oh. Uh, miss. Hit. Um, she's going to take it. She's going to make a constitution check to see if she keeps Bless up. She does. Sweet. That's all of them. Theron, this one's almost dead. You would have advantage on attack rolls against those two. And okay. I guess you've got to figure out where... I don't know. Maybe just write those 11 down or something. Yeah, put them in the blue circle on my character token. I don't know what that's supposed to be for, but... Oh, there you go. That's a good idea. Okay. Uh... Is your AC yeah. broken again? Is it? Oh, it, is. it should be 17. The blue circle is your AC. Oh, you're right. So... I can't use that. What's the red? What's the red one? Um... Red is nothing. It just has a 13 in it for some reason. Okay, I'll do that then. Um, it's here. And Max is after me. Oh, he's not gonna find his way here, though. Um, which ones do you say were weak? This one is almost dead. One. Okay. But other than that, I mean, all of them are hurt really bad except this one. I'll hit one of the ones I have advantage against then. Okay, uh, this one? This metal guy, right? Yeah. yeah. Both of them. I'll do shock and grasp. Okay. That hits. He takes 13 damage. I'll okay. Dodge again. Alright. Maxon. I will move. Was it dead end? Uh, make a perception check. You find a narrow passage through. I will Do you want to go through it? Passage. Yes. Okay. I'm going under again. Maxon found a secret tunnel. You say that? What? Maxon? I was asking Maxon if he said said something. I say hi, I'm here. <laughs> Can I shoot that thing I vaguely see? Did you dash? Oh yeah, I did. Then no. Alright, I'm done then. Alright, <laughs> crew guard. I'll attack the guy next to me. Uh, that I have advantage on. Okay. Wow. Five. You killed him. Okay. That was a good hit. He had 22 hit points. Ooh. Nice. Uh, that's it. I will stay there. Erkin. I'm going to fly, do <clears throat> fly down, put Hunter's Mark on this guy, and start smacking him with a dragon stick. Okay. Uh, do I get advantage? Yes. Yeah. Do it. He's dead. 30, 35, 45. I'll hit this guy. Okay. Or not advantage, just the normal. Yep, 15. Okay. That one's That's still it. alive. Okay, Anna Louise is just going to shock and grasp that one. Uh, he's dead. 
she's going to move away. And now the hook horrors get to go. Um, <laughs> probably makes sense at this point to just attack each of you once. So, Grimgar! Theron! They should have disadvantage against me. Yep. 18. Okay. So it's 10 yeah, damage. 10 damage. So you've got one. Did you write what in my separate hit dice? Yeah, thing? I did. So I have one hit for hit. Yes, you've got one, yeah. I was just trying to see if I could. You and can. I, and I can. You can type butt in there, everybody. Uh, and then the last one attacks Urkin. Miss. I'm going to stab him. Go ahead. Use his reaction. Stabs him. 11 damage. Okay, Theron. I'll shocking rest the one that just hit me. Okay. Ouch, 23. Okay, the two on top are both really hurt now, and the one on the bottom it has not been bloodied yet. Maxon, to save the day. Me? Apparently. Somehow he took two turns to get to us, but that's another story. Hey, I'm here. Kill any of them. Do you say? Do you say that? No, I say who's hurt the most. Doesn't matter. Have Have you been you been here the whole time? The yeah, two on top yeah. are both really hurt. Oh, yeah, he so. says. I didn't see any of your arrows. That one's dead. Who are you shooting at now? The other one that's up top. Okay, that did not kill him. He's got the invisible arrows. This will. That one's dead. Okay, one left. Yeah, I was here the whole time. Grimgar! Advantage on that guy, right? Yep, Maxon just shows up and starts kill stealing. Mm hmm. <laughs> Maxon tactics. Too slow. <laughs> 21 damage. Grimgar, you're hitting hard, man. Oh, we're all pretty good. Okay, that me. one is now bloodied. That's it. Okay, Urkin. Finish him. You won't, you coward. <clears throat> I say, I'm not a coward. And then I stab him. Ooh, the Thunder's Mark got him. 14. And... Come on, big money. Oof. 15, still alive. Great. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and Louise had to finish him off. <laughs> she goes, <laughs> blows off her finger. All right, we're at, we are out of initiative. All the hook horrors are dead. That's what those things are called. If you didn't see a name someplace, I'm sure you did. Maxon, where did you come from? Weren't you Somewhere. behind us? I don't know. I <laughs> what were you doing? I fell asleep and you guys left me. Hmm. Fell asleep. Yeah. You're not leading him hard enough. Guess yeah. not. Alright, you you gotta go in the front now, Maxon. Yeah, you gotta go, lead the way. Yeah, go ahead. You'd be trusted. I found my well, own way. Right. Make sure you don't fall asleep. Uh, Anna Louise says, um, it, at some point before we get to, uh, I guess the end of the road here, I'm thinking we uh, ought to take a quick rest at, at some point. Not necessarily yet, but uh, before we get there. Are you hurt, or you get abilities back if you take a short rest? Um, or both? Erkin and Theron seem quite hurt. Um, but no, I don't really get anything back. We should also exchange contact information in case we get lost. 
We can speak to each other psychically. All right, we're good then. Here's my Gmail. You know, Maxon, you can just ask us where we went. I was keeping it to myself. All right. Anyway, your punishment is leading the way. Go you for were, it. You guys were fighting anyways. Yeah, we could have used your help. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have taken so much damage if you were there. Doing it so much damage. Now be, now be sneaky, because we don't, don't want to get into a big battle or something. I thought I was sneaky when I fly, but I guess I'm not. Watch the ceilings. For mud. Alright, well, it looks kind of sketchy around the here, so I'm going to check out... Uh, do a perception. Okay. Maxon scans the area in front of himself. Um, you don't notice really anything except uh, some kind of purple light coming from ahead. Purple light? That's not supposed to be there. Hmm. The narrator I do, shrugs. I don't do purple lights, guys. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> What do you think, Anna Louise? I think we've already been to a room with purple lights. Do I remember what room that was? It was the room that was connected to where you found the drow. Uh, yeah. Okay. Was there another direction up this way that I forget yeah. about? There was. We just went in a circle. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we don't want to go up this way. I think we go back, yeah. There was another way where I came. Yeah, there definitely was. Be we know yeah. this. Alright, let's go back to that other room. I say, I don't think there'll be any accords in here. Again. <clears throat> nah, don't jinx us. So this here, now this was the secret passage. It's not really a secret passage, it was just hard to see. Um, it's like a, a thin crack in the wall. Well, there's a tunnel. That's Maxon just accidentally found you guys by finding a secret tunnel. Wow. Grimgar can't fit through there, can he? Yep. Oh. It's it's wide enough, it was just hard to see. Because of like, okay. the angle of the rocks. Okay, I just thought this Grimgar is a big fat dwarf again. Yeah. Stupid, too. Hey, we're in Big fat, armor. stupid, drunken dwarf. <laughs> we're in thick armor, guys. Al You're comes thick. Alcoholic idiot. His family is shit. Yeah. yeah it's not Power. true at all. Now I won't. I'll have your part of the uh, payments for Wave Echo Cave sent to me. Didn't we have to kill your cousin or something like that? No, one of them died fighting those guys there. Oh, what, 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 what guys were they fighting? Oh, uh, I don't remember. That's Death such collectors. a long time. <laughs> That's such a long time. Gosh. Like ghosts and stuff. We had to fight like a ghost. I remember that. Yeah. Or something. Something like that. Ghosts? Are you guys talking psychically or out loud? Psychically. Okay. <laughs> uh, I see something up to the north here. Do we want to keep going or do we want to take our rest? Is that a purple light? No. And do you spot anything with your superior? Yeah, there's some guards up there. Um, you want to just hit, take a short rest? Do we need it? Uh, maybe the Annabelle does. Well, I, think well, I mean, one of the there. things, Maxon, is that you get all of your superiority die after a short rest, I think. No, I don't think that's true. Are you sure? I thought it was only after a long rest. Maybe. There's yeah. no way to know. Combat superiority. There it is. You regain all of them when you finish a short or long rest. Oh, short or long rest. So... I've, yeah. I've been doing that. I'm only missing two anyway, so... Travis is... <laughs> There's no way to know. <laughs> 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 so fucking... <laughs> I'll say about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm only missing two of them, so yeah. that's not a priority for me. 
I just meant if you know you're going to take a short rest, you can just be using them constantly. Why don't we fight this next room and then they'll take a short rest about that. Okay. Alright, Mason, lead the way. Well, everybody stealth. Stealth. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Again? Yes. Hey, yeah, Anna Louise is rolling like a god. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Holy yeah. crap. 23, 13, 18, 23, 31. Holy shit. We're so fucking quiet and pain. Right, alright. So you guys, everyone is just silent as death, and then Theron just rips a huge fart. No, I'm kidding. That's not I'm what hurry. happens. Oh. He burps like, um, <laughs> more, uh, Rick. Yeah. Blah. <laughs> Travis, your next character should basically just be Rick. Yeah. Pretty funny. I can't burp my command, though. Or yeah. I'll throw up. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, so what do you guys do? Stealth in there and fuck him up. Right? Anyone else? I think so. Well, yeah. yeah. Their yeah. order. Max they and... Burke look... and Grimgar... Me they and look... Luis... They look like Earth people. That's good yeah, to me. Come up. Do the word in the Earth. Okay, okay you guys can go in whatever area. order you want. So who's going first? Grim Gary, the leader. Decide. Uh, I say Urkin because he rolled the highest. Okay. Damn. Urkin. Fuck you. You're invisible. Fuck, Fuck you, I say telepathically. <laughs> oh, Get in there. Yes. Middle finger Let's emojis. Uh, Urkin, Let's what is your telepath. passive perception? 19. 19. All right, you, as you run into this room, I'm going to make them visible. You see that there are uh, three Nothics in this room that, uh. are, that are trying to hide. We should have taken a short That's rest. That's not good. What do you do? Uh, leader, Lucas, are we still doing this? Do they notice him? You're all rushing forward at the same time, or okay. we're just taking turns. Yeah, we're, we're going I'll, for it. I'll so there's no time to be like, hold on! Like, that's not... Yeah, right. Hunter's mark on the Nothic, and I'll start beating him. Okay. He's, he's just on the ground, right? Yeah. Doing Nothic things. Mm-hmm. He's doing nothic -ing. I don't yeah. even know what how much damage that is. 24? Yeah, alright. Okay, he's bloodied. I have an advantage because I'm invisible. Yes. Fourteen, still alive. And that killed him. That Nothic is dead. Oh. Oh. Wow. I thought they were stronger for some reason. I think you fought him when you were like a little four or something like that. Maybe even earlier. Oh, was it that long? That was a long time ago. Okay, who's second? Um, let's who roll. I think that's Anna Louise, so she rolled a 22. Okay. So we're just going in initiative order. I did, I'm doing by stealth order, I guess. I'm just for the hell of it. Or stealth order. So, Anna Louise, then you. Yep, then so that. she runs up. Mm -hmm. Um. So I just keep clicking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here you twice too. I hear everything That's twice. Great. Well, I don't want to use too many spells, but let me see how a fireball fits in this room. Man, I sure could hit a lot of people with that. I guess I'll use it. So she's gonna cast a fireball at fourth level.
Ew. Oh, come on. Do I have anything special I can do? Let me look at her stuff. Um. Nope. Fuck. It was horrible. Mm hmm. What a bad friggin' roll. Three ones, two twos, <laughs> three threes, and a five. Shit, team. Holy crap. All right. How many? Well, she, at least she's hitting a lot of people. Two, three, four, five, six, seven of these dudes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, at least they all failed. It worked out. And the Nothic. <laughs> Passed. Eh. Okay, 21 damage. Um, all of these soldiers, Chris, are, that she hit are bloodied by the 21. And the Nothic only takes 10. Alright, uh, she would have also turned on her boots, so she's got more movement, so she's actually going to back up. Um, who's next? Grim Gar. Uh, I thought it was Max, actually. Ah. Max rolled better than me. You rolled an 18, didn't you? Yeah, you rolled a 23, though. Or a total 23. Oh, I was looking at his perception. Yeah. Yeah, Max. Okay, everybody you can see has uh, full health, Maxon. This guy looks like a prisoner. Oh no. I'm gonna do steel wind strike. Ooh. On all the enemies I could see. One, two, three, four. And this one? I think it's five, yeah. I'm just wondering if you can see him. Yes, you can. Okay. Um, roll 5d20. Mm -hmm. I think your modifier is 11. Let's see how you roll. Alright, 13 is a miss. Ouch. 18 is a hit. 12 is a miss. Alright, wow. Okay, so you missed twice. So you hit this guy and these two. So roll the damage three times. You get 60, 60, 10. 60, 10, yep. Uh, here's 5 and then 1. So, yeah, 37, that's pretty good. First one takes 37. Uh, he is bloodied by that. That's this guy. Uh-huh. I'll end right here. You only hit. You gotta roll your other damage, though. That's one guy. Oh, it's, oh, we're not using that damage. No, no, no. Okay. It, it's three attack or it's five, three hits, so it's three sets of damage. All right, here's five and one. Twenty-five on the second guy. He is bloodied. Uh, five and one. Oh my god, forty-two! You killed that one. Holy shit! Oh wow, two tens, a nine, and eight. Yeah, you stole all the good numbers. You rolled a 42 on 60 10, and you rolled a 42 on 5d20. 5d10? <laughs> no, I'm talking about his, 5D his 5d20 was a 42. Yeah, and his 6d10 was a 42. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's how bad he rolled on his d20s. Okay. Um, and direct here. All right. 
Who's next? Rimgar. So move up here. All right. And this guy looks like a prisoner. Mm -hmm. Um, bloodied, bloodied, not hurt, not hurt. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to throw my boomerang at 30 feet at uh, this guy here. Okay. Thirteen damage. Uh no, he takes a five too. Eighteen damage. Okay. Yep. All right. That's it. Okay, and Theron. Okay. Um, uh, is that a space, or do I have to be here? Yeah, you're fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of homies. Uh, that's the prisoner. No, this one. Okay. Um, most of the people in this room are bloodied. I, I mean, he's not hurt. He's not hurt. He's barely hurt. He's barely hurt. Everyone else is bloodied. Interesting. Everyone has been attacking somebody different and taking half their health. If you're wondering what a fireball, it can hit everyone in the back half of the room. I was actually wondering about Cone of Cold. How many but feet is that? 60. Oh, okay. I'd have to use my boots to dash to be able to get everyone, I think. Except for maybe the Loth Lothic. Just left back Lothic. Or Nothic, whatever they call. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll do that. I think if I'm here, I use Cone of Cold, I can hit everyone but this back guy. Okay. I believe you. Are you hitting everyone? Uh, not Rundorf. Okay. And not Maxon. Are you sure? Hmm. Yes. Okay. That's here. It, it's a con save. Uh, yes. Okay. Roll it up, baby. The Nothic fails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those guys. That's good. Good damage roll. Not bad. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, three of those guys passed. One, two. Alright, it's 45 damage. So, uh, he passed but died anyway. Uh,. Yeah, that killed all of these guys. Alright, um... Those guys both failed, so he dies, he takes 45. And the Nothic had 45 hit points. Two left! Okay, I got 20 more movement left. I will move here. Alright. Uh, let's r roll initiative. Okay, let's get this fight started, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's such a high damage roll. It just overpowered everything. I wonder if they'll get to go. <laughs> Joe spends all this time building these rooms, then I clear them all with one move. Listen... 
these guys are intentionally not super strong, okay? Yeah, just wasting your spells. Yeah, you're you're managing your resources. Exactly. Rob, are you back I yet? Well so far. Yeah. Okay, Erkin. Alrighty. Oh, Let's Erkin. kill. Which guy do I want to kill? Really matters. Over here. Okay. Put this guy up. Put Hunter's Mark on him, and I'll stab him twice. Okay. Uh. Please. Okay, you stab him, he dies, and then you stab his dead body. Yeah. Maxon, you're up. I'll show him. There's more. Oh. There's one guy left in the back of the room. Does he know that, though? He wouldn't know that, would he? Uh, oh, here, just telling him. That's fine, I'm just telling him. <laughs> you, you guys killed it. everybody in the room before they got a turn, okay? Yeah. And that's just because you guys it. rolled ridiculously high stealths, like... It was really that's good prize, stealth right? rolls. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, he takes 15 damage. I used the wrong bow, but... Like... Alright, you put your bow away, you pull your other bow out. He <laughs> takes another 15 damage. You put that bow away, you take another bow out... Ah, <laughs> uh, he's the same. Alright, he's dead. They didn't get a turn. Na -na 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 -na. Alright, okay. as the last guy dies, uh, this guy in the middle of this room here, uh, he is a dwarf dressed <laughs> as a blacksmith. And he is incredibly stunned right now. As you guys run into the room and just kill 30 people. All of a sudden, just there's just bodies all around him. So, oh, what? Holy fuck! What happened? Who are you? Hey, hey, calm down, calm down. We're, Holy we're friendly. Holy shit! We're, yeah, yeah, it was nuts, right? Well, uh, uh, are you cold? Do you, are you, you know, that was a... No, I'm the, fine. What the fuck? Okay. It went right around me. I thought I was yeah. dead. Yeah, I... I, I made, made it so you didn't get hit. You're Holy pretty sneaky. Shit. Uh, I'm Theron. Uh, what's your name? Rundorth. Rundorth, I see. Rundorth. I've heard of this fellow. He's a Orvin Mir Baron Noble. Ah, this right. is Grimgar, our leader. I'm a Master Smith. Very nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Grimgar. Um. Who are you You're all with? Dead. Lots uh, of different. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of friends, but we're really just adventurers. Well, thank you, uh, Th thank you for saving me. Who sent us to get the delegation? Uh, the Mintarn mercenaries wanted us to find them. Um, wait, delegation. The, I think the Knights of Samular, Lord's Alliance, all these people wanted us to find out what happened to the delegation. Yeah, so you've been down here a long time, huh? Yes, they've been forcing me to help them make weapons. Oh no, have you made them anything that we should know about? No. Good. That's good. Do you know if there's any useful items that you did make that we could take? No, I was... Mainly trying to make sure they only got basic stuff. Ah, oh, good job. That helps yeah. a lot. However, if there's anything you need made here, I can, I can help. Well, how quickly can you work? Because we don't think we have a whole lot of time. Pretty quickly. Uh, basically, what I'm thinking well, is, if you guys want to take your short rest here, uh, he can give Max an advantage on his blacksmithing stuff he wants to do. Let's do that. Sure. This is a perfect place then. For a rest. Good thing we waited. Good job, Grimgar. Boy, my leadership skills are great. I I killed know. those dudes. Didn't even let them get a chance. Um, I want to ask this this guy. So, do you know where, like, the head uh, quarters of this 
Earth Coltar. Yep. Like up ahead, yep. too. You go north and then turn right. All right. And these earthquakes have started pretty recently, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, probably we got to fight another elemental prince. We've already done it a couple times. Joe, you also hear the echo? Because your mic goes off every time somebody talks, and I hear an echo. No, I don't hear it. Okay, so it's you. Oh, sorry. My headphones must be really loud. Yeah, probably. Um. Bah! <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's an echo. How loud is it? Bah! It's pretty quiet, but. Yeah, it's kind of. Alright, I'll work on it later. Chris, stop doing no, that. No, I can't hear it. Anyway. <laughs> it's been going <laughs> on for a while. What are these, like, chest things around the right. edges? Blacksmithing stations. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Um, there's nothing you can find in this room. I'm just trying to find Maxon's thing. Where is it? Oh, you know what? Didn't didn't we write it on his character sheet? I can never remember where we have this. No, I don't see it. That thing? Yeah, you're making stuff thing. <laughs> Why are they Here called blacksmiths? Why are they called what? Blacksmith. Blacksmith works with iron and a whitesmith works with gold. That's all I know. Hmm. That's my same question. Covered in black soot whenever they would make their stuff. Maybe? Okay, Maxon, when you work on your stuff, you have the option to craft either two magic arrows chosen at random yes. or you can improve one of the three items you've made you so far have a long sword that grants proficiency in lock picking a war hammer that grants proficiency in history and a shield that grants resistance to lightning the ability to cast absorb elements uh, and Proficiency in deception. You could I want to do the fourth upgrade for that. Okay. All right. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to make a smith tools check with advantage because Rundorth is helping you. You're going to use dexterity for your smith tools. 24. All right. Uh, let me read one more thing on here. Okay. Got it. All right. Roll 2d100. This is basically rolling with advantage. Because you rolled so high with your 24. Okay, you got a 20 and a 62. Okay. And now... You're going to roll to see which property you get, which is another D100. Just one with advantage? Nope, just one, one D100. Can I do my short rest stuff? Yes. Is anyone below half health before we start the short rest? No. 32. Uh, that means that the weapon now deals an extra 1d6 damage on a hit. Uh, this is a shield, though, so that doesn't work. Um, so I need you to roll again. 32 doesn't work. 70. Nice. Okay. The shield gains a second spell along with absorb elements. So it now says uh, that when you are attuned to the shield, you can use an action to cast a spell. 
After you cast the spell, roll a d6. On a 1 to 5, you can't cast it again until the next dawn. If you roll a 6, you you keep it and can use it again. Um, let me figure out what that spell is while you guys finish your short rest stuff. Um, so figure out all your short rest stuff and I'll, I'll uh, let me figure this out and then I'll roll the hit dice for Anna Louise. Okay. I thought that guy was a bad guy. I was going to stab him with a dagger of silence. Huh. Yeah. That's funny. So we get get uh, bonuses for rescuing him so he, he stays alive. That's the problem with the dagger. I can't hear them when they say, don't kill me because... Is the problem. Yeah, you haven't used that dagger of silence in a while. You haven't been fighting many wizards that I can silence. We got to fight those dragons, and you got to use your dragon sword there. True. Maybe the Earth guy will be a dragon. Maybe. No, he won't. He never. He's never. He's never a dragon. Maybe there'll be a dragon with the Earth guy. Have we fought all elemental dragons? We got water know. one. We got the poison one. We got the fire one. I think those are the four that I know of. The shadow one. There's Halinex, uh, there's Venom Fang, there's that steam one. Turtle one. And uh, the one we just fought. That was Hell Nexus we just fought, right? Or, yeah, Hell Nexus. There's a Hell Shadow Fang. one as the other one. I forgot the name of the Shadow one. Yeah. Rundrith Manor. What was the name of the Nervareem. I was going to say, it started with an N. I think all dragons have, like, a. element or something associated, right? I mean, though, I don't think those are the only four dragons, but those are just the four that I know. <laughs> Is there just like a lizard dragon? Dragons in other realms. It's a really big iguana. It's like metallic dragons and stuff, but I think those ones aren't necessarily evil. I'll defer to our dragon expert. <laughs> Yeah, there's typically four to a region. Oh. What a region? Hmm. Really? How many have you killed? There are many people saying this. Is there one of them? Mm hmm So, have we got them all, then? We haven't gotten Venom Fang yet. Okay, the spell that's going to be attached to it is Banishing Smite. 
banishing smite. Yeah. Sounds like a Grimgar thing. Well, you would have to attune. To, so attuning to this gives you lightning resistance, the ability to cast absorb elements, and then after you use that, roll a d6, and if you get a, a six, you can you still continue to use that that day. Deception proficiency and banishing smite, same rules as absorb elements. Hmm, that's a pretty cool spell. That's a lot of buffs with one item. Yeah, it's got to be attuned to though, and it doesn't have any AC bonus. I drop my AC by two if I switch shields. Darn. And I'd have to attune to that instead of something else. Wait, isn't it? A, isn't it a plus two shield? No. No. If you make it plus two shield, I'll, I'll switch it out. You use a shield sometimes, don't you? Not one that I want to attune to. Mm. Finishing Smite's a nice spell. That's a, a bonus action. Five D ten force damage, adding to an attack. And if they have, if it reduces their hit points to fifty or fewer, you banish it. Nobody else wants it. I think anyone else uses a shield. I use a shield, but I got one that gives me three AC. Which is pretty nice. Three AC? Yeah. Plus two shield? Oh, it's a plus two shield. Yeah, that's probably what I have too. No, I have just a plus one. How do you have plus two shield? I really beg for it. The shield yeah. of planting. Ah, that's right. And are you attuned to it? No. No? Okay. I'm ready whenever you guys are. I'm ready. Yep. Pretty much got all my spells and health back. <laughs> Just didn't get my level 1 spells back. I don't think Anna Louise gets anything on a short rest. Nothing that I know of. Yeah, okay. I'm good. Uh, Rune Doors. Uh, where does he want to go? Are you, are you going directly to... And then there's an earthquake. To the source of that. Yeah, if you if you just go and do that right away, I'll just wait here. Good. Okay, I think it's try, this way. Try to hide or something. Case yeah, have really you heard the name Vizarin, by the way? No. Okay, I figured not, but... Any other information <laughs> we should know about that they've talked about to you? You've overheard? He thinks... Mm. I don't think I know anything that you wouldn't already know. Okay. Alright. Pop out All right, Max, I'll the way. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> what's over what's this little thing? I got him. Little pocket of nothing? No, it, it's a hallway, it's just that there's another hallway going over top of it and there's no way for the light to do it. Do you want to go down that hall? Uh, I asked Rundor, is there anything down that hallway? Uh, yes, that's where they keep the bullet. And that's it? Uh -huh. Just the bullet? 
Yes. Okay. Is it, we don't need is to go it down way. there, do you think? Uh, is what down there? The bullet? Or has it been taken out? What? You said that's where they keep it, so is it... No. Do they take it out no, from time to time? The lead is like sheep. Meaning that I there's thought... like four of them down there. Four bullet. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need to go bother with them for now. Don't antagonize them. You don't want to get killed or anything. Maxon, don't get left behind. Uh, I was hanging out with the this guy. No, come on. Get up there. Up there. Follow Grimgar, get up closer. Uh, what's oh. in this room? Anything? Uh, Which room? Guy. The one I just went into. Uh, it's a hallway. Okay. I guess anything can be a room if you call it a room. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Anna Louise forward. says, uh, he said north and then turn right. Yeah. Alright. Why are you going west? I don't know. I was seeing if there's something over there. You want me to silence this bitch, Grimgar? Just being a completionist. Yeah, well, I, well, I don't want anything to come back and attack Rundorth. I'd feel bad if he gets killed, but... So you, you enter a room with a vaulted ceiling supported by six natural stone columns. Crystal growths protrude from the ceiling and cast a lurid purple glow over everything. Um, you hear the sound of stone grinding against stone to the east. Okay, and there's light in here? Uh, there's supposed to be. Yeah. What's, what's uh, making the light? Crystal growths protruding from the ceiling cast a lurid purple glow over everything. Okay. What does lurid mean? I don't know. Yeah, it not mean anything. Yeah. Lurid? Do I see anything else in that room to the west? Make a perception check. No. Okay. And is there anything interesting in this room? Can I investigate this room? Yeah, sure. Fuck yeah. Alright. Theron spends two hours searching the room. Meanwhile, the world comes to an end. <laughs> as the Earth Cult destroys everything. I didn't want to spend two hours. Well, I don't know. I you wanted to search this town. huge room. I always thought that. Is it that big? Happen. Yes. It's very big. I, don't, I mean, I didn't want to, like, you know, study each crumb right. on the you, floor. You look around the room and you determine that the pillars are natural stone. Okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> no, all right. Hey, I say telepathically. Two hours. Telepathically, I say, I see some shit up here, guys. Uh, telepathic ended because you took a short rest. Oh. oh. Do you want to do it, it again? Whisper. You whisper it. I see some shit up here. Nah. Uh, quietly, I guess. I'm trying to walk in here. Oh, slow down. Well, stop moving. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you're not sneaking up on the guys that are standing in front of you looking at the entrance. Um, okay, let me find where this is. This is, okay. Alright, um... Let me see how much Grimgar can see. Oh, Grimgar, you can see a lot. See everything. All right. This colossal cavern is an alien landscape filled with soaring stone buttresses, weirdly twisting columns, and gargantuan shards of glowing crystal. A long path of steps is cut into the uneven floor and wends its way between the mighty stone pillars to the cavern's core. There, the steps climb to a tremendous stone slab with a glowing green and brown portal above. Uh, two humans in stone armor stand guard with two armored earth elementals and a huge rock creature. Past them stand a 50-foot-tall colossus and a humanoid shrouded in darkness. 
Um, get it? That's the description of the room. Um, so as you get right there... Alright, uh, I kill them all. Yep. Um, one of the guards shouts back, They're here! And the humanoid shrouded in darkness responds, Oh, hello. It's about time you all arrived. Viserin, is that you? Yes. Who are you? Your, your cousin. That's not true at all, you dumb fuck. <laughs> It is. It's Viserin? Does he drow? Uh, make a perception check. <laughs> it looks like it's a drow, yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> He's so, so surprised. Yeah, I do. Wow. Anna, Anna Louise steps forward and says, Viserin, you son of a bitch! You're coming with me. And he says, No, I'm not. And okay. now it's your guys' oh, turn no. to talk. I say, good, get out of here. I say, good sir, we've already defeated two cults. Uh, so your best bet would be to surrender peacefully, and then we won't kill you, and uh, that'd be better off for you. So, go ahead. Yes, well, I have my opinions about those other cults. But I, I see... More powerful uh, than you. I see that you're traveling with Anna Louise. Uh, that's quite a dangerous thing to do. Is she so powerful? Has she told you who her mother is? Anna Louise? Oh, God. What is he talking about? Has she you told mother? you what she plans to do with the elemental power... Once she's taken it for herself. How is she going to get it for herself? Don't listen to him, Anna Louise says. He's just trying to confuse you. It's working. Can I roll insight? On who? On her. Sure. Is there any nervousness in her voice? You don't sense any. Nah. You guys can move up into the room if you want. Um, he, Viserin says, Has she told you what her family plans to do once they are the first of Menzo Baron's on? And what Lulf will do? Once she has access to the elemental power? No, why don't you tell us what you think? <laughs> it's no matter. You're not going to leave this room alive. Why are you why are you doing this in the first place? Um, so while while you're talking, they are like ready to fight at a moment's notice. They've all okay. like got their weapons out and they're all ready. And he says, why? Because I believe in the cause of Ogramok, of course. And he gestures up at the behemoth. And the, the huge 50 foot tall rock creature just kind of pounds a fist into his other hand. What about the elemental eye? <clears throat> What of it? Don't you worship it? No! How stupid. Are you stupid? Sometimes. The elemental eye is a creature of chaos. It just seeks disorder. What are you seeking? Disorder! Exactly. Exactly. Can I roll, can I roll insight on him? Sure. If he's lying about the eye. Yeah, like, does he seem crazy? I mean, I know all the cultists seem to be crazy, but, like... You can roll insight to see if he seems crazy. Huh. 
Um, Grimgar, you have no clue which of the things he's saying are true and which might be lies. Um, Theron, he he doesn't seem crazy. He just seems like an asshole. Okay. He, maybe I can't tell, but one, one of the things I want to know is, is he lying about the eye? Is he? You don't have a clue. Okay, all right. You don't know, you can't tell if he's telling the truth or lying between statements at all. Got it. So, hey, Vizarin, why tell us about her family doing something with the elemental plane in the first place if you think you're just going to succeed? Because I think it's funny that you're working with one of your enemies. I guess that is kind of funny. This guy's going to destroy the world, though. Yeah, we'll. I mean, we'll stop her if she does anything like that. But right now, she's been pretty cool. Yeah, high five. High five. <laughs> okay. So, should we do this then? Let's well, is, is there anything else you wish to discuss? Not particularly. Okay. You're sure, you're sure you're not going to surrender, though, because this is his last chance. You surrender first, and then you'll surrender. No. Can this I cast guy... a spell? Um, I mean, you can, but we'll roll initiative first. Oh, okay. Everybody's ready, and a spell takes six seconds to cast. Okay, then never mind. Let's wait for initiative. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This guy is about to join Marlos. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, we'll roll well, initiative. Everybody, let's, do let's, let's, let's do it. Do Somebody it. Somebody charm the ogre. The ogre. Ogre. <laughs> We're making cheese. Alright, where Gripgar should be. Hey, it showed up and disappeared. What the hell? I'll stop deleting it. I don't understand how come it's giving me such problems lately. The four humanoid guys, even though they're not the same creature, they're all going to go together. Where'd they go? Just to try what to... a great time to roll a one. Well, the Earth Elemental Behemoth, its initiative is 0 .08, so... That's good. Alright. I think I think mine gets kicked out somehow after anybody else rolls. Because they rolled twice and it showed up twice and then went away. I don't know. I mean, it obviously doesn't make any sense because if I roll, it's fine. Yeah, I don't get it. I just did it again, so. Oh, it was my original initiative 2.08. Oh my god. Are you done with initiatives, Joe? Rolling your eyes? Yes. Okay. All right, let me adjust mine. Okay. <laughs> Louise goes first. What the fuck? All right. Uh. Is she gonna betray us on the first turn? Yep. She opens her mouth wide and eats Max in one gulp. Nice. Mm -hmm. She's crazy. Um. Oh, what do I want to do? Hmm. I just didn't expect to have to go first. All right, she will. What makes sense? What makes sense? What makes sense? Let's start with the. Yeah, I want to do that. Okay. Um. Let's start by doing a twin chromatic orb. I guess. On this guy and this guy. 
She's just going to do level two. And we'll just say fire. Um, okay, so that's 11 damage on him. And 24 damage on the other one. And then because she used the meta magic, she's going to give 3d6 temporary hit points to Grimgar. Grimgar gets 16 temporary hit points. Wait. That's why I wanted the twin something to be able to throw that out, not because I actually wanted the twin anything. Um, and she will use a bonus action to activate her boots and run along the edge of the wall to there. It uh, might be of another sorcerer right now. Lair action. Yeah, kind of. Um, I made her a lot of her stuff similar because uh, it was easier than trying to learn a whole new character. Hmm. Okay, Ogre Mox, Lair action. Uh, 20 foot radius circle. We'll use that. Alright, uh, 20 foot radius circle of Earth suddenly turns to a sticky acidic mess. Any creature who starts its turn in that circle, or the first time a creature enters that circle on a turn, the creature must make a DC 18 strength saving throw, or take 2d6 acid damage and be restrained. Then the restraining ends when the lair action ends on the next round. Mm. That's very strong. Oh, the damage is super weak, though. Yeah, but I'm never getting out. Well, you'll get out next turn because it disappears on initiative 20. Oh. That's what I was trying to say. The the lair stuff only lasts for a round. Yeah, I always forget that. I should have known. Uh, the four guards get to go. Um, This guy's going to chase down Anna Louise. Uh, and go wank. Uh, she'll take that. Five, and then a miss. She takes five damage. Not a big deal. Next guy. Uh, does he want to risk running into that stuff? Oops. I clicked that spell on accident. He does not want to run into that stuff. He's going to run up and stop right there. So, that actually kept that guy off of you. Um, matter of fact, none of these guys want to go into that. And so what they're going to do is they're going to run over here and surround Anna Louise. No. Theron, you're up. Okay. I'm actually going to try the spell that I just uh, clicked there. Well, do um, um, you do your strength well, saving just... throw first. Okay. Alright, you're going to take 2d6 acid damage. 10. And you are restrained until the next layer action. Okay. Restrained just means I can't move? Can't move... Attack rolls have disadvantage, and attacks against you have advantage. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to flash recall um, to put Dominate Monster on. Okay. And take Losery Dragon off. Okay. I'm going to try that on the Behemoth. Okay. So that's the spell I clicked. It is Wisdom Saving Throw. luck to this guy. Let me just read his stuff. Uh, make an intelligence check. Uh, 
Okay, before you do any of that, you realize that elementals are generally immune to charmed. Oh. Okay. Can I not have done the bonus action stuff? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. That sucks. Yep. Like, anytime I want to use a good move on a good monster, it's just immune. <sighs> yeah, I All mean, right. dominate dominate monster would pretty much work on anything except a fey, an elemental, or a construct. It would pretty much work on anything else. Well, then I will instead do my super Odaluk freezing sphere move. With max damage and wand of deking. Okay, uh, how big is it? It is a 60 foot radius sphere. I still didn't put one of those in here, did I? Jeez. Okay, there it is. A big. Yeah, you can hit all of them. You can hit okay. every guy with that. Max damage and wand of deking. Yes. Yeah, so that's sixty. Well, that's ten d six. So sixty damage plus the five. So 65 damage, DC 19. Wound up deking, so disadvantage. Holy shit. And this is what kind of save? Uh, Constitution. Okay. Uh, he's dead. Whoa. He's dead, I don't even need to roll for it. So both Black Earth Guards are dead. Earth Elemental, Mar Maiden. Oh, uh, he passed. Wow. Uh, it was 65 damage? Yeah. So he takes 32. Next one... Failed. Take 65. Like, this one is bloodied. The behemoth. Uh huh. Like I said, disadvantage anyway, so he fails. 65, not bloodied. Uh, Vizarin. Uh, passes. Take 32. And Ogremok. Disadvantage. Passes. Yep. I didn't even roll the right thing. His roll is better than that. Um, so he's going to take 32. And three guys pass a disadvantaged DC 19 throw. Uh -huh. <laughs> Two of them only had a plus three, and they passed it. Yeah. That's nuts. I know. Very unlucky, but whatever. Okay. I will dodge. Oh, I'm just restrained. I can't dodge. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you killed two guys. You bloodied one of the Marmidons. You hurt the other one pretty bad. You did 65 damage to the Behemoth. And 32 damage each to Ogremok and Invisorin. I mean, it's still pretty good. Yeah. Should have been better, though. Urken, make a strength save. Alright. You 
take four acid damage and you can't move. Um, let's put Honor's Mark on the. the well. Let me see what this is. Let's. Let's shoot this guy. Let's put Hunter's Mark on that guy. Okay. And I will shoot him with a bow. One bow. Uh, actually, is it advantage because I'm invisible? Um. Am I invisible? Yep. Advantage. So 17. 17's a miss. I'm gonna redo that one. Shit, did it again. Uh, Twenty. Hit. That's uh, so that's eighteen damage, right? Yeah. Okay. Hit number two. Natural 20, 18 damage. Okay, that one is now bloodied. Hit number three. That hits. 1725. End of turn. Good turn. Max, and make a strength saving throw. Okay. Right, you succeed. You can do whatever you want. I want to. I want to shoot the earth elemental down. Okay. I want to do three sharpshooters. Okay. Calling up. All right, first one. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, so the first one, your attack is twelve. Twelve. So that's a miss. The other two should be. The second one is a tw uh, twenty-eight. That's a hit. So that does twenty-five damage. And the third one's a twenty-two. That's a hit. So it does twenty-four damage. That one's dead. You destroyed him. Okay. Wait. Anything else? Uh, not, not right now, no. Okay. Um... How far away from you guys is he? Okay. Uh, Vizarin. Yep, he's gonna fireball the four of you. All right, good choice. I'm resistant to fire. Um, and he's gonna do that fifth level. You gotta remember I've. Counterspell more. Counterspell is... He's out of range. It's 30 feet, you're right. Alright, everybody make a dexterity saving throw, the four of you. Dex save. Maxon fails. Theron I succeeds. Use, uh, can I use my... Uh, Air's Invisible Shield, I believe it is. I don't know. No, not, not, not AC, not AC. Uh, wait, I thought I had an exterior one. So. Grimgar fails. Uh, so Theron, it was 44 damage, half to 22, half to 11 for you. Urken, you take 22. Grimgar, you're going to take 44. Okay. Don't forget about your temporary hit points. Yep, I gotta drop those off. And so Maxon, what are you doing? Here. Indomitable. 
So you get to re-roll, right? Yeah. Okay, re-roll it. You still failed, unfortunately. Damn. You take 44 fire damage. You're resistant, though, aren't you? Or not anymore? I don't think I am. I'm resistant to breath weapons. Oh. Uh, let me see if I've been forgetting legendary actions for Overmark. Nope. Nothing I've missed. Grimgar! Think save? Yep. Okay, you succeed. You can move as normal. All right, and there's still one more dude down by Anna Louise, right? Yep, and we're and we're just gonna go until the next lair thing, so that we know what it is. So we're almost right. done. I'm gonna move down there, thirty feet, and I'm gonna throw boomerang at him. It's a hit. You rolled bad though. 14. Yep. And I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon on the same guy. Okay. At third level. Okay. Let me click that here. Spiritual Weapon, level 3. I like that Psionic uh, Boomerang is spelled wrong. 16 damage. I don't know. Oh, that ignore the 5. I'm sorry. It should be 11 on that. Oh, 11 damage. It says Boomerang. Otherwise, it's a spell drawing of my thing. Oh. It's funny. No, it's spelled right there. Oh. R A N G. R A N G. Huh. I don't know why. Okay. Anyway, uh, and that's it. All right. Ogremok. Oh, what can he do? Let's see. Got it. Okay. Um, he's going to rumble his way up to there, and he is going to reach down into the ground and heft up an enormous boulder, and he's going to throw it at Anna Louise. Whoop. No. Uh, that's a 35. Holy shit. She takes 40 bludgeoning. And she has to make a strength save. Which she's got like no chance on. Yep. Mm -hmm. so she is now prone. Knocked her on her ass. Uh, he is then going to raise one arm into the air and raise up a spike underneath Theron's asshole. Um, and it has, has advantage because you're restrained. Mm-hmm. That's a 31 for 26 piercing damage. Yes. Into your butt. He takes half because he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is his turn. 
The behemoth is going to move up onto Grimgar. Uh... And he is just going to try to punch you twice. So, miss. And miss. Um, yeah. Now let me see, now that Orgrimmar has moved up, let me see if he can actually use legendary actions. Um... Alright, uh, at the end of the behemoth's turn, he's going to use uh, a ability where crystalline protrusions flare from his body. And I need Grimgar and Anna Louise to make dexterity saving throws. Anna Louise is prone, so she's at disadvantage. Okay, um, they both failed. Um, you are outlined in an orange light. Uh, attacks against you have advantage until the end of Ogre Mach's next turn. But it doesn't do any damage. It it it's a star or something for that. No, do the D20 pointing up. That's advantage. Got it. Erkin's so, got so many things on him, I can't even yeah. see it. Um, but at least that doesn't do any damage. Okay, Anna Louise uses half her movement to stand up. What the fuck can she do? Probably a lot. She is going to use a uh, quicken spell using two sorcery points to cast Routham's Psychic Lance on the guy next to her. Uh, he has to make an intelligence saving throw. He fails didn't roll the damage that's great <clears throat> yeah it says output attack and it didn't roll the damage wonderful 76 24 god damn it it had 26 hit points Uh, all right, so she is going to use her regular action to use um, Shocking Grasp. And now it's dead. Of course, right. it, just, it does 21 damage, too, so it's just overkill at that point. Uh, so all of the little guys are dead. And then she's going to give herself... The 3d6 temporary hit points. She gets 5. Wow, that's a really bad roll. Um, 
she already used her bonus action. So she'll she'll move. Um fuck. I think she'll move to the other side of the behemoth. Fuck it. She's feeling frisky. Her go. Alright, lair action and then we're done. Let's see what happens. Oh boy. Alright. Um who does he want? He wants Maxon. I think Maxon, Anna Louise, and Grimgar. The three of you need to make charisma saving throws. I want. And Louise is actually good at charisma. Two. And she fails. <sighs> Fail. I want to use superiority die. But not for. I want to use. Earth's Iron Royal. Okay, what's that do? Make a. You could choose to roll a superiority die and add the total to your result for charisma saving. Okay. Wisdom. Sure. So spend that. Roll a d10. Oh, that's Holy eight. shit! Yeah, you pass. Okay, yes. Grimgar and Anna Louise are subject to this effect. Which says you have to roll a 1d4 every time you make an attack or saving throw uh, until the next lair action. So you've got a, a minus 1d4 to stuff you try to do. Okay. Alright. And that's going to do it for this week. We'll come back next week. And let's see, I can take off Theron's Restrained. I can take off Urkin's Restrained. And we probably should mark Anna Louise and Grimgar with something that says they're fucked. Uh, let's use that. Skull and crossbones. <clears throat> what do you guys think? This guy's gonna go down. Yeah, I wanna do some stuff for sure. <laughs> if I can. He thinks he's the coolest looking character in the game so far? I don't think so. Who? <laughs> he, he does think that too. We all, we all know. Who are you talking Vizarin? about? Vizarin. Oh yeah, his, I think his token looks pretty cool. He is a cool token. I took him Ogre Rock. Ogre Rock yeah. is definitely cool. Like, there's, there's like seagulls flying up by his head. Yeah, bird for mouth. Yeah. He real big. He's 50 feet tall, man. Like... You were like, whoa, at the damage. Like, yeah, he's a 50 foot tall rock guy that just threw a boulder at a person. Yeah, it fucking hurt. It's a big attack on that. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't yeah. know. I'm excited to uh, do this fight next time. Yeah, fuck Vizern. Ogre Mox yeah. real strong. Trying to trick us? Maybe. I was not, I was not expecting him to be here. I thought really? we'd fight him. Yeah, you later. were very surprised. Yeah, I thought. As soon as he be... started talking, I was like, "Oh, that's got to be Vizzer." Yeah. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, "I was like, hey, you must be Vizzer." And Grimgar's like, "What?" <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't be. Oh, I don't remember him being like particularly affiliated with a cult before. Sure. But yeah, that's surprising. Mean... It'd be weird though if he was because we knew he was down with the Earth Call. It'd be weird if he was down here just kind of hanging out with them. But if he's if he's side. gonna be in charge, of, if a Drow is gonna be in charge of any cult, which cult's it gonna be? It'd be the Earth Call because they're from the Underdark. Yeah, so, I I didn't for some reason in my mind like he wasn't with any of the cults. He was kind of on his own. I mean, that's as far as you knew, I mean, you, you you thought that because that's as far as you knew. Yeah, that was as far as we knew.